Hi, this is Lakshmi Kantiwari. In this lesson, we are going to learn about mathematical and trigonometric function into Arduino. Basically, Arduino have three type of mathematical function. One is the core mathematics, and then another one is the trigonometry, and the third one we can say random numbers as a complementary. So, in mathematics, it has basically absolute type of functions, constraint functions, map, max, mean, power, square, and the square root type of the function. And in a trigonometry, it has a cos, sine, tan, and of course, the randoms and the random sheet in random numbers. So, I'll be taking one by one. So, let's first start with the ABS. So, in the ABS, it's a syntax is kind of this. It takes a input as a number. Okay. So, let's say if I pass a number minus 5, but ABS of minus 5 would be always plus 5. That's the absolute. Okay. So, the result of the ABS would never be less than 0. That means this is always positive. Okay. And the another type of function is the constraint. Let's say if you want to put a value of the x in between a and the b, then you can use this type of the function into Arduino. For example, if I say a sensor value should be in between 10 and the 150, then I should use this function constraint. So, what it will do, it will limit always a sensor value in between 10 and 150. For example, if sensor value is 5, then it will automatically limit it to the nearest that is 10. If sensor value is 160, then it will automatically limit it to 150. That means the sensor value will be always limited to in between 10 and 150. It is a kind of like this. Let's say you have here an infinite number and here you have a particular set of the number and let's say this number matches here 150 and the 10. Okay. So let's say here you have 151 or whatever. So everything will converge at this point which is 150 and here in negative everything will converge here which is a 10. And the another syntax is a map type of the syntax. What it will do, it can map any values in between from low to low and high to high. Okay. So, for example, the uh, for example, uh, let's suppose that I read an analog value from A0. Okay. From A0, then if I want to match my 10 bit this number, to my 8 bit number so I can use this map that means the ADC is a 10 bit okay and let's say if I have a DAC which DAC is just a 8 bit okay the external DAC let's say in this case of course I cannot give this 10 bit directly to the 8 bit but if I give the lower 8 bit okay this lower 8 bit and this upper 2 bit if I leave this upper 2 bit so the somehow the amplitude would be divided by 4 okay so that's when this 2 bit is equivalent to 2 to 2 power 2 that is a 4 and if I leave this lower 2 bit and if I take this upper 8 bit then what would happen the resolution will be sacrificed so for this case if you want to convert this 10 bit which maximum is 1023 to uh, 8 bit which maximum is 255 so we can use this map type of the function let's say if we have a two number and we want to get a minimum of those two number we can use this function that is the mean definitely uh, like a mac minimum we can use it for a maximum as well
similarly we can use for a power so let's say if we have a power uh, if you want to calculate a power of the two okay then we need to set here a base and the exponent for example let's say if i want to calculate 2 power 10 in this case i should call power 2 which is a base and exponent is a 10 so this should return 10 uh, sorry this should return 1024 if i say power of 10 to 10 this should return power of 10 on 10 which could be the 10 and the 10 0 and the uh, uh, and uh, and it will always return uh, a double okay value and the another is a square root okay another mathematical function is a square root sorry a square so let's say if i call sqx that's mean it will do a square so the ultimately it will return uh, x square or you can say x into x so somehow if i say x cube 10 that's mean it will call 10 power 2 and in the similar case in a square root it will take a square root of any function that is the x so if i call a square root of a hundred then it will return how much it will return it will return a 10 now let's take a now 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 let's take a uh, the trigonometric function in a trigonometric we have a cos sine and the tan in the cos it takes the input into the radian sine also takes input in radian and the tan also takes input into radian and then it returns the angle into the double <laughs> and the finally we have here a random numbers generator so let's say if you want to generate a random number okay so what you can do if you call a random max then it will give you a random value in between 0 to that maximum number okay so let's say if i call random 10 it can give any value in between 0 to 10 but if i call you if, if i call random 10 to 20 then it will always give random numbers which is in between 10 to 20 so this sets a lower bound and this argument sets a upper bound but you know in random number the random number is not actually the true random number okay the somehow the random number takes a reference and that reference is known as this random seed so if i pass a random seed every time at the same value random number generator pattern will be always the same so to introduce a true randomness into your randomly generated numbers we need to give a random seed so here i am giving i am giving a random seed from the analog read a0 okay so the somehow a0 will give a uh, a0 will give a random value and in that case it will always take a random uh, a seed hence it will always generate a random number okay so in next tutorial i'll be writing a code to test mathematical trigonometric and random number function into arduino so thank you so much for watching this video please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox bye bye have a nice day